board of directors of the bridge, which has the ultimate authority and makes the final choice about contracts, uh, is meeting today at 10 o'clock. The networkers have come here to show their displeasure with the way the negotiations are going and to explain the, the issues that they think are important. So we'll see how that plays out. People love their jobs, their kids and their families believe in the district and the job they have. They have hopes and dreams that you do not, and you, while you're doing the Bean County uh, uh, section of your, your proposals and you're looking at it and you're counting the beans and you're counting the numbers, that you don't forget that these are people, not numbers. Thank you. The icon does not maintain itself, people do. Public transit does not run itself, people do. What is this board doing? The premium sharing this board is pushing for the purposes of equity and fairness is anything but, and the less that an employee makes per hour, the less fair it is. Do you know what you're doing? The district enjoys the advantages of an experienced workforce at the bridge and bus and ferry divisions. People know their jobs, they know their facilities, they know their colleagues, and they know their colleagues' abilities. Without people to run and maintain them, the district's assets are worthless, and this entire body becomes pointless. The knowledge of how things are operated and maintained cannot be easily quantified. Nonetheless, this board has a sign of value, and we are not worth as much as we used to be. My name is Todd Price, and I've been here for 25 years, plus seven years in the hiring hall. If anyone wanted to find me, you'll find me on the, on the ferry run at Larkspur. The runs in the morning, Monday through Friday, if you want to look for me, there I am. Dealing with your passengers, dealing with your tourist, dealing with kids. And I have to say I'm angry. I just spent an hour and a half with these people, and I think we're getting angry because of what I see personally as sort of a game, and I don't like it. Some of my children go to, go to school with some of your children, at a little high, junior high. Do they even know each other. Uh, would you ask your daughter or my, your daughter to take less than my daughter, or vice versa? We want the contract done, we want it fair, and that's all we're asking. We're not asking for the stars and the moon. The board seems to be jumping into a race for the bottom with no clear understanding of the consequences. I urge the board to move forward with your eyes focused on your true assets. The employees are the key to the long-term success of the district. Stop creating a projected future deficit as an excuse to make some bad decisions in the interest of good politics. Do not balance the books on the backs of the very people that make the books possible in the first place. In this study, they stated that one of the common reasons a company will implement premium sharing for our health care plan is to encourage employees to move their spouses and children to an available alternative plan. And so when I look at my situation closer, I saw that not only would my wife and kids leave the Bridges plan for a cheaper one, but most likely so would I. This is not something I would like to do. I do not know if this is your intent by forcing this type of cost increase on your employees, but it is reality and it is not fair and equitable, especially considering you have just signed a five-year contract with the ATU that does not include any of this. I earn my benefits every day making sure the ferries, the district, and the public are safe. Um, I've got two kids uh, and I rely heavily on this job, this is my job. I've made a commitment to the bridge district six years ago, knowing that this is what I was going to do, and this is how I was going to work. Um, it's, it's very difficult, and if I don't get work because there just, there just isn't enough, um, you know, my COBRA is over $2,000, which is a lot of money to come up with when you don't have work to begin with. Um, 
I've made a huge commitment and a very huge sacrifice to the district, as is everyone that's standing here and everyone that works for the bridge. And I just ask that the bridge continue their commitment to us and understand the commitment that we are make, that we have made and the sacrifice that we make every day. We've given much more than 2% back in medical concessions since 2003. And that we are now expected to do that and come up with percentage of the premium, etc. cetera, um, we think is outrageous. In terms of the retired medical, I gotta tell you, we have gone way past where I thought we would go. You know, the district is looking for something pretty radical. And uh, so we've spent 24 sessions, 25 sessions just on that. You know, when we talk about our retirees, we can't leave you behind. You know, we know that with the system the district wants to do that we'll probably agree with to some extent. You know, we can't have people that are 75 coming to the bridge to a meeting to appeal for a little extra medical coverage. You know, I mean, I just can't see doing that to people. We've all got parents and grandparents and what have you. Can you see? setting up a system for them when they were promised medical coverage that's so different that now as elders they have to come and do this. I mean, I think it's really been um, hard on everybody to think that the district would ask us to do that. So I speak for everybody when I say we've done what we can do and we need to move on. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this has been a, a busy day and, a, and an important day for the uh, coalition of labor unions at the Golden Gate Bridge. They've made their point loud and clear to management that they want to be treated fairly and they want a fair contract. And they don't want their retirees to be stripped of the good medical benefits that they worked for all their lives at the Golden Gate Bridge. We'll now see going forward whether how management responds to that and uh, whether the members have to come back here and uh, talk in an even louder voice and make their point even clearer. Do you have any comments on uh, what's going to happen next? Yeah, we'll be back.